Okay, this is a math activity, uh, very similar to the other one, but it's just building and it's just an extension on what we are already doing, but it does take a little bit more prep work because you'll need to change your dice a little bit. Instead of using a dice that has one through six on it, you can, uh, we'll use one that has six through 10. Um, yeah. And so you could use a piece of tape or um, if you have something larger, you could cover it up, be creative, whatever you want to do. But if you add dots that are 6 through 10 instead of the 1 through 6 dots, um, then they can play the same game but with higher numbers. Um, so it will be a little bit more difficult. And um, instead of rolling twice, they'll actually just roll once. So say that they rolled a 7, so then they're, they would have five inch cubes on the top row and two on the second row um, so then they would be able to count that there are five on the top row and two on the next row and seven all together um, so that would be their goal is to figure out how many are in each row and how many there are all together they're just working with bigger numbers um, but that's a good game for them to do too